Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're uh, we're just steaming along in Ephesians. We're, we're doing we're doing the loop. <laughs> <laughs> we're steaming so, along. That's pretty we're funny. Start started in chapter three, went to the end, started back in one, and <laughs> we might forget and just keep going and do three, four, five, and six again. I think we can do it. We could. Okay. We could. We could probably talk about different stuff. Yeah. It's just packed. Packed. Well, uh, you got a question of the day? Anybody? Uh, Anybody? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> wasn't, uh, well, I, I have, uh, I, uh, I don't know oh. which question. Sue, Sue just told me she looked at our tomato plants and one of our tomatoes is turning red. Really? Yeah. Well, that's because so, you, you bought one of those well, hybrid things. I did. They, they're, they're big. So <clears throat> what's your garden looking like? Uh, time to probably start weeding it already because of all the <laughs> rain that we've had and what have you. So, yeah. I'll swing so by Meyer later plant? and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 See, Nate's yeah. already got red tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, he knows what's going on. He's got it right. going on, but he's got it. <laughs> well, our, our tomato plants are only maybe 10 inches rick so yeah, so you, you better you, you better guard those because i might i might <laughs> sweep down by your house <laughs> that'd be all right or anybody else you just put it out there there'll be all kinds of people hanging around your house waiting for those tomatoes <laughs> nothing like a fresh picked tomato oh boy you know yes. eat them just like yeah. an apple Yes, <laughs> right off the vine. Yes. Wipe yes. the dirt off of it and go for it. <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, <laughs> let's go to Ephesians 2. Yeah. We are in Ephesians 2. Um, ready? Chapter, verse yeah. 1. I, I almost feel like we need to go a sentence at a time with this. I don't know. <laughs> every, every sentence is so powerful this, this this to me this first part of two is like the gospel it, it's just it's it's just plain simply the gospel yeah tell them who we are and what he did yeah so, especially that first sentence yeah and the second one and third one and <laughs> yeah, even right. get to the second all right here we go all right. as for you well, here's a description of us. Yep. You were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Well, let's, hmm. let's hit that for a moment. He uh, describes our condition. Um, the the the. Words or the thought that popped into my head was uh, in Romans where he tells us not to be of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind, you know, because he states there that uh, when we followed the world and uh, our well, transgressions think, think, and I, sins. Go ahead. Yeah, what I what I like about it is just the, the fact that it's as for you were. All right. So. Just a, a declarative statement that you were that. That's not who you are now. I mean, there's a full description of who who you were, but that's not who you are currently. And so, um, yeah, I, th I think that's. Um, I don't know if that's something that a, a reader would have noticed as they as they first started to read it, but as you, I think if you g would go back and go, oh wow, that's a pretty powerful statement of just that's not who you are. That's who you were. Or yeah. Um, so, so that word dead in the Greek means dead. Yeah. <laughs> it means uh, corpse or dead. So, you know, he wasn't making a light statement here. Right. That, that it wasn't good. Yeah. Our, 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 and, and obviously he's talking about our spiritual condition. So, so make sure you understand that he's not talking about our physical, <clears throat> a bit, you know, state but he's talking about our spiritual state 
Well, my my uh, mind starts out um, with pretty descriptive words. You were dead, and then it says doomed forever because of your many sins. And then again, you used to live just like the rest of the world, full of sin, obeying Satan. Um, yeah, yeah. So with that, when, when mine says full of sin, I mean, full means full. Yeah. So without crying. Uh -oh. that, I mean, that's just the bottom line. And uh, am, am I froze? You am did. I froze? You did. You're, you're did not freeze. froze now, but whatever uh -oh. great statement you made, we didn't hear it. OK, well, let me let me let me just um, again uh, doom forever because of the many sins and the word full in, in verse two, it means full. We're full of sin, separated from Christ. And uh, it, and my my version says obeying Satan. I never thought that I ever obeyed Satan. I never thought that. But that's what it says. When you don't have Christ, that's who you're obeying. <clears throat> so. Well, it's abiding into that temptation, right? It's the that's the obeying of Satan is right there. It's the carrot on the stick that's being waved in front of you. And once soon as we bite into it, then we're we're we yeah. switched to we, our allegiance has been made in that too. And that's 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 a heavy a heavy thought, but it is truth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that uh, that last word, disobedient. You know, it's uh, you know the choosing of sin is being disobedient. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. I'm not disobedient. That's a nicer way. I think it's a nicer way of putting it than being than obedience to Satan. It's a nicer, <laughs> nicer way to put it. Right. Like I'm just being disobedient. I'm not being obedient to Satan. I'm being disobedient. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It it it's not many different ways. It's one way or the other. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, just yeah. like eternity is one or the other. Yeah. It's not seven choices. It's it's one or the other. <clears throat> well, even just the idea of, of full of sin, it doesn't, it, you don't even need to be full of sin to be condemned to, to a, a eternity of damnation, right? It's, it's one, <laughs> you know, and the reliance upon Christ and all of that is, it's just for that one, just that one's en enough that we need to be relying upon Christ in that. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, three, just, you know, it, it's going to just continue. But anyway, all of us <laughs> yeah. also lived among them. And so basically just saying this is this is where we all were. We, we were all there at one time. All of us, nobody, nobody was saved out of the womb. So um, all of us lived among them at one time. Here's here's a good description of sin. <clears throat> Gratifying the cravings of the flesh. And following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. So there's a, a good description of, of the sin. And, it, and basically it's because of the... <clears throat> excuse me, guys. My voice is... <clears throat> sorry. Um, it's following the cravings of, of, our, of our flesh. It's, it, it's, it's describing our sinful nature that that we all have yeah well, mine mine has uh just uh four words <clears throat> that is uh really kind of sums that up just like everyone else that's what we used to do We're, we just kind of just went along just like cool. everybody else and then i i have just written uh, i don't know when i wrote this but I've I've written in in my in my uh, on in my Bible. Be different, with an exclamation point. Be different. Yeah. I mean, go against the flow. I you know we've seen the the pictures where one's going, everybody's going this way, and but there's one going that way. I want to be the one going against everyone else. 
I don't want to be like everyone else as it's described in scripture. <clears throat> I think once again, it's important that that whole description right there is who we were. Right. Yeah. Who you were. Right. And that's a, once again, just that because that is a heavy that's a heavy thing that when you start to think about that. And I think it's more of this. We don't want to return. Don't want you to. We don't want to return to this. This right. is this is who you were. Let's not return to this. And just like Rick said, go to go back with the flow. Yeah, yeah. It, I I just think it's so important to, as you were saying, the word that it's important for us to understand our state of what it was, mm -hmm. um, our condition, and uh, you know, so many times we take things for granted, and and I and, and you know, Paul, this this is this is just after the prayer that he prayed. We just talked mm -hmm. about the prayer. Uh, the prayer that he prayed for us, you know, the prayer that he prayed for the, the Ephesians, just that was an amazing prayer of how, of what he wanted them to experience. And then he brings this reminder. Now, now don't forget of what your condition used to be. Yeah. You know, Cause how quickly do we forget the goodness of God? How, how quickly do we even forget how God answered a certain prayer or God got us out of a situation or, or yeah. God came through for us. And then we find ourselves back in the spot where we're worried. We don't know if he will. We doubt all those things. So it's like Paul is reminding of our condition. So it's it's not a bad thing to read this, maybe, maybe yeah. daily, <laughs> yeah. as as we remember our, our previous condition. Um, and, and we're going to get here soon uh the good part of it so uh, well let's just, get to it <laughs> yeah well just talking about that condition uh i think before we didn't even know we had a condition we thought we were okay we yeah. didn't even know it yeah. i mean yeah somebody might mention something to us and we'd say no nah, I'm, I'm good and and we really meant we were good we didn't even know and then I think we talked about this uh, yesterday or the day before the blinders come off. We hear the truth and we go, oh, oh my goodness, what, who am I? And we, we recognize that. And, and now, now the changes, we, we, we want to start to make changes. I can't believe I used to say that. I mean, I've said that to myself. I can't believe I used to do that. I can't believe, I can't believe. And, but it is exactly as you said, Nate. That's who we were. Well, and Rick, it's good to remember that. Yeah, Rick, believe it. Yes. Because <laughs> right. right. it was, yes, yes, yes. 100%. There, there's two words in there because he's dealing, he's dealing with sin and, and our previous condition. And, and it, it's it he describes where that comes from you know obviously it's the cravings of the flesh but look at those two words following <clears throat> following the cravings of our flesh follow its desires and the thoughts and, and we've talked many times about our thought life and and here he's showing that that's the those thoughts are you know follow our our cravings our our fleshly cravings and uh, so it's our desires. Those are our desires that we follow <clears throat> and our thoughts. And, uh, you know, it just he's just describing here of, of what what can control us of why we need to be transformed in the renewing of our minds. To think differently. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> All right. Yep. All right. Sorry, my voice is not wanting to go today. Nate, why don't you take yeah. over reading for me? All right. All right, verse four. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised, raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace, expressed his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Now, we're, now we're turning the corner. 
Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so right. He, he showed where we were and now where we is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you, you have to love verse four right at the beginning there, but, but that, that's the change right there. The, the big it. but is, is the, the big change right there, but because of his great love for us. Yes. You so. started to turn the corner, not, not because whatever, but only because of his great love. Yeah. Yeah. God God so loved the world. Yeah. Well, yeah. and what was that love? That's when he raised Christ from the dead. Yep. And uh I'm I put um it, it, it's that verse verse four. It says uh we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life, and I put a question right there, how in the middle of that sentence, and then it goes on to say when he raised Christ from the dead. <clears throat> and then I mm-hmm. thought he raised Christ from the dead. Christ didn't raise Christ from the dead. God, <laughs> God raised Christ from the dead. And um, I mean, the father, it's the father did that for his son. I, yeah. I don't know if I ever really thought about that before, <laughs> but there it is in black and white. <laughs> yeah, because it, well, it says, but because of his great love for us, comma, God. Yes. Didn't make any mistake about it. God, yeah. the creator of all things. Amen. Well, just even so what what you were expressing there, Rick, of just that of how God raised Christ is you look into Jesus's life and, and that and especially, you know, towards the end, his whole life was just an act of obedience to what, what God and what mm-hmm. God the Father had called him to. And so, I mean, even his last moments was all just that act of, it was an act of obedience that this is what was necessary. And, um, and yeah. And so when we look at that, when there's, there's, uh, there's the prayer that Jesus had for, for us as, as his followers was, was just, just that, that when he, he was, his prayer was to glorify God in that in that moment you know in that time is his his prayer was that he would glorify god and then then we in turn which this is where it begins to show us this is that when we're made alive in christ is that we will glorify christ in which would in turn glorifies god yeah and, yeah, and just yeah. That beautiful. it's a domino effect yeah yeah, right. yeah it is yeah yeah it so it remember how he uh described us as dead and mm-hmm. now now he's rescuing us alive and yes. the the description of god which is who is rich in mercy so it this is because of his great because of the great love of god who uh, the description of him who is rich in mercy made us alive in Christ, not dead, but now it's not the were, this is the the now, Christ, even when we were dead. So even in the midst of that, again, description of it's not about us. While we were what we just read, while we were those first three verses, while we were that, while we were following our our flesh and uh, the, the cravings of it, Right in the midst of that, God did this. Yeah. And I I love it that, um, I mean, we're talking about God the Father here. And these these, uh, uh, four through seven talks about what God did. And then it says, how did he do it? He did it through his son. That's how he communicated it through to us. And uh, again, the raising of the dead, uh, of, of bringing Jesus back to life, his resurrection, the example he set for us so that uh, we know what our story is and what is going to take place. I'm just once again, Ephesians just blowing me up. <laughs> so, so let me ask this question. Would you rather sacrifice yourself or your son? Oh, boy. 
Well, <laughs> easy you know, to yeah, say, yeah. but hard to do, probably. Right. Right. But I mean, think about that's that's what um, God did to show that yeah. level yeah. of grace and that mercy and how that love He sacrificed His Son, which yeah. is which is why He He uh, He told Abraham to sacrifice His Son. And, right. and, you know, it was like, you know, it'd be one thing if if he said, Abraham, go sacrifice yourself, which, again, would not be easy. But but no, no, sacrifice your son. Yeah. And it's showing the depth of that love. I mean, and, and that, you know, it describes that his one and only mm-hmm. son. So so, you know, I, I have two sons, so I, I would get to pick which one. <laughs> And that has that's changed daily. <laughs> but Nate, you you only have one. You only yes, have I one only have son. one. Yeah. Oh, I would I mean, not. I would not give him up. <laughs> you wouldn't give him up for sinners, right? <laughs> no, no, I would much rather give myself up as opposed yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. So, so it just isn't that incredible. Just the it is showing, describing. You know, you, just in that verse, you, it describes verse. Uh, those verses describe verse five two describes. You know, his love, his mercy, his grace. You know, the extent. It just. Yeah. And yet we forget, and that's why Paul's reminding. Paul's reminding them that, of where they were, because I don't know. Right now, this is firing me up. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. Well, and another- Another cool aspect of that is we weren't great people when all this happened. We never have been. I mean, it's one thing that, oh, yeah, my best friend who'd do anything for me, I'd do anything for him. But no, we're talking about some crumb. (laughs) Why would he do that? The, uh, The depth of his love, immeasurable. So I, I want to I want to speak about just you're bringing up Abraham and and Jake and 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 uh, yeah Abraham and his son I can't even why it's slipping from my mind right now yeah what is it Isaac it's Isaac, Isaac. right Isaac yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was all hey, it was hey, gone. it's early it's early <laughs> it, it's Monday so, it's early we don't our brains aren't even on yet yeah that's right so I'm just thinking about I'm thinking about just that, that once again, you talked about Abraham and the sacrifice of his. He's asked he, God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, and, and how Abraham had waited so long, he had desired that son for so long that it was yeah. it was a promise that it, and it was just the his son was there, and now it was time to sacrifice. And I think about if we if you put that side by side with God and Jesus, and he had waited so long for his son. I, I, I'm this is. What, I don't even know if this is, but just the idea that that he had he had because his desire was for for all of creation to be renewed and to be restored and and here it is is this here's Jesus here to for this to be become come to fruition and he has to give up a son in that moment and actually yeah. and there's no saving that like it was it was it it, it had to happen and I, I just once again like how beautiful in, in the from the beginning how it's set up and, and just goes this tapestry of story that comes to all together in the in the fruition of Jesus's sacrifice and his resurrection it's beautiful yeah yeah it, I mean the thing the thing we often forget I think is that yeah Jesus was Jesus but he he experienced what a human being would experience so I I, I mean, you guys know what it's like when your child suffers. I mean, even when they don't, you know, they're sick or just just how you feel uh, when they're going through a rough time. I mean, can you imagine, uh, you know, that he, that Jesus had to go through that and the pain that he felt um, experiencing that. Mm-hmm. And yet God going, you know, this is, this is showing my love for these 
crumbs. <laughs> Yeah. But they're Amen. they're people that I love, and I want to show my grace. Uh, you know that I want to show this to them, and I, mm-hmm. and I think so many times people people turn their back on God when when they don't get their prayer answered, or they don't they God doesn't do what they think He should, and and right. they need to go back here. They need to they go go back here to to what He did do. Right. Because uh, what so. more needs to be done, honestly? I mean, what more needs to be done on our <sighs> behalf than what has already been accomplished, what has already been taken care of? Like, yeah, yeah. we're in, well, once again, we live in this time where it's just, we, we feel like this is, this is everything. This is, this is everything that we have is wrapped up in these, these moments that we have right now. But this is a blip on the screen compared to, yeah compared to eternity and and that's the most important well we i i think we as a people many times think you don't care and when we read this how can how how could i have ever made that statement how could i i mean what a dingling (laughs) (laughs) this is one of my words i haven't heard that in a long time Uh, uh, oh my god (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> stick with me fellas stick with me it's hard it's hard now <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> i don't know if i can go on now <laughs> Dad, gather yourselves <laughs> uh, well, all right <laughs> Oh, all right. I, I don't even, uh, we're in the book of Ephesians, right? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And, and, and I look, I mean, look, he says, verse eight, and God raised us up with Christ. I mean, that this in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order. I, this is such, this is, this is this the gospel. If you want to know the gospel right here. Right here, right here. This is this nutshell. is the this is the good news. This is this is this is what Jesus, you know, when or the angel said, "I bring you good news." Mm. <clears throat> this is it right here. This is the good news. Well, I think so. Even just that idea of that statement in itself, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that we can see the, that in the coming ages we might. He might show his incomparable riches of his grace. That idea that when we have accepted Jesus, when when we have when we have taken uh, trusted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, something changes with the way we see life. At least it should. Like there's this opportunity that we can see a bigger picture as opposed to our 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 picture right here for what it is for ourselves. Like you think about that, just being seated in the heavenly realms and being able to see a grander picture than what than what we are able to see in our 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 flesh here on yeah. earth. Like yeah. that that I think there's a just a great because it is. It's so often until those blinders are removed, until we actually. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the what the horses the things the horses wear that that keep them focused straight forward. When we take that stuff off and. We see that there's a whole, whole bigger, bigger picture around us. That it's not just about us. Once again, it's not about us. Yeah, I, I, I like. I mean, it's like you, you mentioned the word change. It, it's a change of status. Mm, yeah. You, you know, I mean, it, he describes it as dead to alive. Uh, you know, he, it's a, it's a status thing. You know that that it, that because of this. Our status has changed; that we're alive and, and we're not dead, and and now our destination is heaven. It's not hell. It's a status. Well, just even not just not just our not just from dead to alive, but we go from from death to seated with Him. Like that's a big deal. <laughs> like, that's seated with Him in the heavenly realms. Like I mean, wow! Like we've gone from the grave to we have we are sitting in his his presence yeah in the, in the heavenly realm that's just a, remarkable yeah. and and not just death but hell 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, the description of hell doesn't sound very good. No. That doesn't sound very good. I mean, it, it, uh, so that's that's quite the the change in residency. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> sure. Yes. Um, where where did you stop, Nate? Did you stop eight. it? Uh, verse eight. eight. Yeah. So you you didn't read at, you didn't read eight or you did I read did eight. eight. I can read it right now if you'd like. Well, do we do we keep going? You want to read it? <clears throat> Well, I'll read or, it. We can just okay. kind of wrap it from there. How's that? Yeah, I'm just looking at thinking that could that could be a whole other session right there. <laughs> yeah, eight and nine. <laughs> or we can just stop. No. <laughs> Why don't you read it and then we'll, we can always come back to it tomorrow. Yeah. There you go. All right. Sounds good. Here it is. Verse eight. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is this is not from yourselves. It is a gift from God, not by works. So that no one can boast, for we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ooh. Yeah. So we'll pick up there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a good encouragement to end on. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and we'll yeah. we'll just we'll start there tomorrow, and and as uh, I, I I love that there's. We uh, he didn't do it for us to sit around. He's got stuff for us to do because of it. Yeah. So. That's great. All right. Cool. Woo! I'm pumped up. <laughs> That's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. I'll pray first. You guys fight over who's praying second. I'll pray for our country. Oh, rock paper scissors. Don't there me. you go. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not have you ever bloody. seen that done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I handle that quick. <laughs> oh, my oh, word. Oh, All right. Yeah. So, Rick won fair and square. <laughs> there you go. Father, thank you. Thank That's you. Not, thank uh, you for what you have done for us, for your great love for us. You not only said you love us, you have shown that you love us. Uh, by sacrificing your son, Lord, that is, that is, uh, it's, it's hard to conceive. It's hard to imagine. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to accept sometimes. And uh, so, Lord, we, uh, we thank you today, and uh, we thank you for the gospel. We thank you for the good news that uh, gives us hope. That, uh, that Lord, we can grab a hold of this, and Father, we can realize that, uh, that without you, we're dead, and uh, that without you. Uh, it's hell. And so, Lord, with you, it's, it's alive and it's heaven. And so, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done for us. And so, Lord, we just pray that uh, each person can grab a hold of that today, that we can be reminded once again of your goodness. And once again, that it's not uh, about our doings. It's, uh, it's happened in the midst of our, our darkness. It's happened in the midst of, uh, of our rebellion. It's, it's happened uh, when we were against you. And so, Father, thank you for that. And we thank you for salvation that, uh, that you have given to us. And so, Lord, we just pray that, uh, that we would be reminded that we have been given a gift beyond, uh, beyond any gift we can imagine, that, uh, that you are a God of grace and mercy. And uh, so, Lord, we, we just pray that today that we would grab a hold of that, that that would uh, that, that would just sustain us today, that, Lord, that we would be a, a people of a thankful heart uh, for your grace and mercy. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, uh, we come before you um, and pray for this nation. Father, we pray for the leadership of this, of this nation and ask, Lord God, that um, uh, feet would be turned towards you and... Uh, Father, we are, I pray that we are saddened by the uh, turmoil that is taking place and hitting very, very close to home. And Lord, we just, we, we need you so badly. We're asking that you would intervene, that you would uh, uh, help us. And I, I, I don't even know what that means, but you are God and uh, we're depending on you. We're leaning on you. Um, thank you for loving us and uh 
Thank you for caring about us. And Father, we just place this nation into your hands. Um, we just thank you and uh, know that, know and we trust that you will do right. And we are, we, we're convinced of that, Lord. Um, thank you. Thank you. We praise you today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So if you're watching this and you've not turned towards Jesus, you know, he, he didn't make it hard. Jesus said, follow me. Come follow me. And that's why we are always saying, turn your feet. So as the description was today, you were dead and made alive. And so that's why we talk about the, the way our feet were planted was the dead side. And now we're turning towards being alive. So if you've not done that, we would help, love to help you on that journey. So let us know. Reach out to us and uh, make sure you mark your calendars for the 21st of June. And uh, in the meantime, uh, get, in, get in one of our discussion groups. I think we have 20 some of them. So go online, uh, get signed up for one of those groups. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Fool's Gold series. It's going to be fun. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you. R Rick, yeah. thanks for the laughs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. All right. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you later. <laughs> see ya.